Do we earn a sunrise? No. Do we have to be worthy of a chance to begin again? No. The Book of Mormon teaches us to rely solely on the merits, mercy, and grace of the Holy Messiah. We discover the reason He requires so much and the strength to do all He asks. Grace is not the absence of God's high expectations. Grace is the presence of God's power. Jesus doesn't make up the difference. Jesus makes all the difference. Grace is not about filling gaps. It is about filling us. Maybe we have not yet comprehended what he is trying to make of us. Christ asks us to show faith in him, repent, make and keep covenants, receive the Holy Ghost, and endure to the end. By complying, we are not paying the demands of justice, not even the smallest part. Instead, we are showing appreciation for what Christ did by using it to live a life like His. Well, have you been saved by grace? And I say yes. Have you been changed by grace? A life impacted by grace eventually begins to look like Christ's life. Grace isn't just about being saved. It is about becoming like the Savior. The miracle of the atonement is not just that we can live after we die, but that we can live more abundantly. If Christ did not require faith and repentance, then there would be no desire to change. There should never be just two options, perfection or giving up. When we understand grace, we understand that God is long-suffering, that change is a process, and repentance is a pattern in our lives. When we understand grace, we understand that the blessings of Christ's atonement are continuous, and His strength is perfect in our weakness. When we understand grace, we can, as it says in the Doctrine and Covenants, Continue in patience until we are perfected. Grace is not achieved somewhere down the road. It is received right here and right now. It is not a finishing touch, but the finisher's touch. As dark as night may become, we can always count on the sun coming up. As dark as our trials, sins, and mistakes may appear, we can always have confidence in the grace of Jesus Christ. 